Hi, Melanie Minchinger here. Today I'm going to show you just a few tips and tricks plus how to make a really easy treat holder for the holidays with my newest set from Gina K Designs, Beyond Baskets 2. This is a clear stamp set. It coordinates with all of my previous basket sets. So the basket editions, the buddies, the blessings, holiday basket, and the first Beyond Basket. Just to show you a couple things real quick, some of these images might not be as explanatory as the sack or the tote bag. I want to show you how to use them together and how I've used them on other cards that you've seen already. This rectangular box, this can be for an open package that you would actually put this flap on the way that I did this card right here. So you would stamp whatever you want to be in front first. You would mask that with a straight edge and then you would stamp that over it to get this one image. And here I just drew a little shadow with a marker. Now you use this same rectangle with this package with the bow. And this can actually be used on its own like a shirt box, a very thin flat box, but it can also be a lid and that's how I like to use it by putting down your rectangle, stamping the lid first, masking it, and then stamping your box. Now you can have these at a lot of different angles. It'll work like this, over here, like this. You could even have one of the little animals popping out and the lid propped up like that. So lots of different layouts and uses for this stamp. But today I'm gonna focus on the big sack with the tie. It's like a big Santa bag. This is a big image. It's about three and seven eighths by one and seven eighths inches. So you're gonna need a four inch block for this stamp. You're also going to need some red cardstock. This is cut three inches by four inches. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need a scoring board, some score tape so that it'll stay together and won't pop open on you. I'm also going to use just a red memento marker today, no Copics, just to show you how easily you can shout, um, add shadows to this bag. And then I'm gonna use a gold pen as well to accent the string. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do, you can see I already cut out all of these bags with my silhouette. So that is really easy for mass production if you have the cut file. If not though, it's a pretty easy shape to cut out with scissors. But I went ahead and just cut these. So you're gonna have one for the front and one for the back. So you're just gonna ink up your stamp. I use the black onyx ink. And you're just gonna lay it over it. And when that outline disappears, lay it down and then lift it up, okay? And if you have just a teeny bit off, you can take your scissors and just trim right on that little line. Okay, all right. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a marker. Now this would work with a darker red or an orange. You could use a gray or even a light brown marker, just something in the same warm color family that will show up. And so all I'm doing is I'm tracing underneath where that cord is to just to the left side here and you can go back over it again. And then I'm going to go over the bottom of the bag, just right here, and trace over any of those little wrinkles that I added. Okay. And then you can maybe add just a little bit to the underside of where that's folding over. You can see on here, here is one that's not shaded. Do you see the difference? How much difference just that little bit makes? So not a lot of coloring necessary. Okay, so to make the box, you're going to take your scoring board, and I use the buddy, but this will work on the big piece as well, the big board as well. All right, so this is three inches by four inches. So you're gonna score this at one, and at two inches so that you have three one inch sections. Then you're going to score it a half inch from either side. So at the half inch mark and the three and a half inch mark. Now, depending on the treats that you choose to put inside this box, you might wanna make the bottom a little bit wider. And if you do that, you just wanna make sure to adjust, let's say if you want this to be 
two inches wide, then each of these ends needs to be one inch so that when you fold them together, they'll meet up. So this plus this needs to equal this, okay? Then you're going to want to add a little bit of score tape after you cut into these lines. So you're going to cut just those middle scores and then fold on all the scores. And then you're going to add a little bit of score tape just to this little flap here. You're not going to see this because it's going to be folded in first and then covered up with these outside flaps. Okay, so you're just gonna pull it up and pull it up together and just pinch, okay? And then you'll do that on the other end. So press that down, press that down, and you have your box, okay? Now you're going to take some more score tape, or you can use something less permanent if you think you might need to take it off for some reason, but just along this edge here. Okay. Just press that right onto the front. See, it's just going to stand up like that. And then you would stamp your other box and do that same thing on the back side. All right, so here is the finished box. And what I did is I took a gold Sakura glitter pen. I think it just rolled off my desk. I don't see it. But I just filled in that little cord there so you have that nice metallic accent. And then you can put a gift card in there. You can put candy in there. I was excited to find that that dimension is perfect for putting these Gina K ribbon boxes or even the buttons. So crafting supplies, that would be really fun. And then this little tag that comes in the set, stamp whichever greeting on it. So I have a little You've Been Nice to go with the Santa bag, just with some of that red and white Baker's twine you can get from Gina K. And I had some people in the release party forum ask about whether there was coal or a naughty greeting. I did not put a naughty greeting in there, but what's fun you can also just stamp the you've been nice and then cross it out and then the naughty is pretty clear and that would be really fun with like some black licorice jelly beans or something which I hate so that would really be someone telling me I was naughty but I just think that's such a cute way to present a little gift at the holidays doesn't require any dyes or anything it goes together very quickly just to leave that on somebody's desk out with the plate of cookies on Christmas morning just to put a little small treat in to say I love you I hope you enjoyed this project and I think that you're going to love this set. Thanks for watching.